Arcadiana is. Holly Bear. Well, it's 5.08 and there are a lot of great things happening in New Iberia. Yeah, and Mayor Freddie DeCourt's at the point of a lot of them. He sat down with our Al Bear. Hey, we are here at Community First Bank in New Iberia, and we're with New Iberia Mayor Freddie DeCourt. Mayor, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Hey, you know, a lot of stuff going on in New Iberia, a lot of good stuff happening. Uh, you have some cool community projects to discuss. Let's chat about it. Most communities took their ARPA money and did drainage and sewer and, you know, those kind of things. Well, mm -hmm. I don't take the easy path anytime. Yeah. So what we did was community projects. So we have, uh, we invest in a Boys and Girls Club. We have two Boys and Girls locations, oh, wow. which I think is critical for our community. We uh, invested $100,000 and gave it to the public schools to do a STEM fest so that they could be exposed to that. We have scholarships through LC LWCC of $100,000 that are going to let kids from New Iberia who elect not to go to college. It'll pay their first year of the school and their books. Oh, wow. Um, we have a really neat project called One Block at a Time. We're spending almost a million dollars where we're actually going in disproportionately impacted communities and fixing houses, which is so out of the realm for government to do. Oh, wow. We yeah, have indeed. another $450,000, and that is doing a demo of derelict property, but not in an adversarial way. People are saying, I'd like to get this gone, and we're putting it on the list and doing it. So no legal fees, no hassles that you normally have with demos. But those kind of projects will make a real impact in our community in a way that we never could before. Now, certainly, I bought fire trucks and uh, did a lot of other things. We're building tons of projects. I'll talk about our parks and stuff in a minute. But uh, all of those kind of projects are really going to make an impact in our community. I tell you what, I, I like the idea of, uh, of getting rid of the derelict properties. Yes, definitely. You know, because that's a big problem in a lot of cities. Big problem. And no one wants to represent an empty lot, but no one wants the uh, what it does to a neighborhood to have an abandoned piece of property there. So I think the combination of cleaning up and then redevelopment opportunities that will come after is something that's really good for our community. One block at a time is a great idea. It is. It's going to be a trip. We're just getting started. We'll only do about 40 houses. We have 100 applications and it's not closed wow. yet. Uh, we are going to partner with other agencies and try to get these people help if, if it's something that we can't do. Um, because the big the big heartbreak is going to be the selection process. Yeah. Okay. But uh, again, you know, if you get new money, you should do new things. You know, there's a good energy here, and you know that's one of the things we love to find. When we visit communities in Acadiana. You you feel the energy. It's good energy here in your Iberia. Hey, you know what? We're going to go back to the studio, you guys, because this show, good energy on this show. <laughs> 